I used to be a designer, but now I run a company called Gengo. And Gengo is a crowdsourced translation startup in Japan. I talk about Gengo all the time. So I'm not going to talk about Gengo today. I'm going to talk about something else, which is memories. Now, this is a photo of me, and you might think, oh, that's a great memory. But actually, if you think about it, it's not a memory. I don't remember this. This is just a photo of me. And this is one of my first, this is my first problem with photos as memories. It's always from the outside looking in. And I want to see memories from the inside looking out. So all these photos are great. They show how cute I was as a baby and how I grew into this handsome man that you see before you. But really, I don't remember any of this. This isn't how I see my memories, right? So that's the first problem I have with photos as memories. The second problem is that when something special happens, we get our camera out and we go, I'm going to remember this moment because it's special. But what about all the in-between times? What about the conversation on the way to the play? What about the chat you had in the bathroom with a stranger? Like, that kind of stuff is interesting too. So I've always wanted to remember everything, not just the special moments. So 12 years ago, when I was in art college, I thought, okay, how can I do this? And because I was an art student, I was very creative, of course. And I thought, okay, what if I take a photo 100 times a day for seven days? What do you think is going to happen? And so I did it. I had this, at the time, state-of-the-art digital camera, which was about the size of a brick. Uh, but I did it. And the cool thing is, 12 years later, I can still remember very clearly these days. So I can remember going to my friend's house and all this. Like, in a way that I can't remember any other day since. And so I've always been interested in this kind of thing. And so now, flash forward to 2014, I'm kind of thinking, well, can I do this now? What if you could remember everything? And so a year ago, I found a Kickstarter project where they were trying to do that. And I was very excited. And so this project was called the Narrative Clip. And it's this thing I have right here. And what it does, it's a little camera. And every 30 seconds, it takes a photo. And that's it. There's no controls. There's no buttons. There's no switches. That's it. And so I've had it for a week now. And it's very interesting. And I'm going to share that with you. So over the course of a day, you produce a lot of photos. Over the course of a week, you produce a lot more. It's a huge amount of data. And what starts to happen, it's kind of interesting. Because you can look back on your life in an interesting way. One of the first things you realize is that most of the photos look like this. They're <laughs> completely shit. OK? Because the camera is not smart. The camera doesn't know what to look at. And so you have to look at this stuff in a different way. If you look at this as every photo is precious, you're an idiot. It's different to that. What it's about, it's, it's about building up a moment. And so this, it's like a half hour period. I'm getting on the train. I'm talking to some friends. We're going somewhere. This is how you start to see your life. It's not one photo. It's a collection of things. OK, so you've got to get used to big data of your life. But if you can do that, it's kind of interesting. So what they do with this is when you plug it in, it sends the data into the cloud, which means it stores the data on a server. Uh, and then you can access it from an iPhone app. And you can kind of browse this stuff. And what they do is they separate it. So every photo has a time code. You know exactly when the photo was taken. So they can group together photos into periods of time. And they call these moments. And the important thing is moments, not photos. So this thing we're doing right now at Pecha Kucha, that's kind of a moment. And you can browse that in your life. So you can go back and you can say, well, what moments did I experience? It's kind of interesting. And so this is a week ago. And what I've noticed is that when I go back through these photos, I can remember stuff now that I completely forgot about. So I talked to this sexy guy, Sean, in the, in the, in the hall. I didn't remember that. But because I have a photo, now I know. So what happens is you start to look back on your life, and you start analyzing it. And so one of the things I noticed was that I spend a lot of my life in meetings looking at the same people every day. And it's a good thing because I like these people. But it's a bad thing because it's like, what am I doing? I'm just in an office staring at a green wall. 
You can also put the camera down and you can put it like right here and you can record a scene from a third person perspective, right? That's kind of interesting. So you can have like a, a CCTV on your life if you want. You don't have to be bold with uh, glasses to work as a designer at Gango, but it helps. The other interesting thing that happens is that Ayano-san, who did a presentation earlier, we went to her restaurant on Saturday. I didn't know she was going to be at Pecha Kucha. I found that out yesterday. It turns out I had a photo of her. Check her out on Facebook. She's got a great restaurant. Yeah, It's very good. But what happens is you start to kind of have this superpower. Like, I can recall every memory now. That's kind of crazy. Like any superpower, maybe it has a dark side. I don't know yet. We'll see. But the best thing of all for me, and this is kind of a heartwarming, like, sad reason, it's when you look back, you have these moments that you completely forgot about. Like, I got into an escalator with my wife. I forgot about that. But now I can, when I'm browsing through, I find these little moments where the person I love is there. And it's like this little jewel in the sands of time. That's the best thing. So I've had this amazing experience already in one week. And what I come to the conclusion is you're missing out. You do not have this thing. It is fucking awesome. Okay? And so I will miss this if I ever lose it. But I just encourage you to try it. Try something like this. It'll change the way you look at things. And that's it. Thank you very much.